there is a sense uh, among, particularly among quantum physicists, such as um, Henry Stapp, um, several others, myself, of course, uh, Roger, Roger Perrins himself, Dave Peet, uh, of course, Dave Baum before, before uh, David, a great, great physicist, that quantum physics has taken us to a, a level that has that its own demise, but in a good way. Uh, is uh, being put forward by quantum theory itself, that we're reaching a certain limit that clearly it has to be the next stage, it has to be there, and we don't quite know what the next stage is. I believe that it's going to be in the boundary between biology and physics, and it's going to be the boundary between psychology and physics, that perhaps quantum theory will uh, take the next step. Now, the same way that the classical mechanics, Newtonian mechanics, is valid. It's not that it's totally wrong. It's valid in its own regime, its own uh, limited assumptions or certain conditions. Yes, classical mechanics holds. The same way that special theory of relativity applies, but in a more generalized way, it's really a special case of the general theory of relativity. There will be a generalized quantum theory that the present quantum molecular dynamics, quantum chromodynamics, and even when we get the string theory perhaps developed, there will be special cases of a faster theory that I believe has to take consciousness into account in a fundamental way and life in a fundamental way. So we will have the progress will have to come from these other fields and the dialogue between quantum theory and biology and quantum theory and psychology. And that dialogue has been going on, in fact, ever since the fathers of quantum theory put it together, uh, that dialogue has been going on. Uh -huh.